the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, it's Sneakerhead M Checks Back with another early review This time we'll be taking a close look at the University Blue Jordan 4 Scheduled to release April 28th There's a lot of hype around these But before I get into release and resale predictions and all that Let's check them out I said, wow. Look at that suede. It's crazy. Suede on these is very thick. It's a lot like, uh, the material on Raging Bull 5s or the uh, alternate Great 5s. And here's the tongue. Now the tongue has this little uh, side tab on it. And it's actually the same tag it's on the back of the uh, Oregon 5s and or the general release Oregon 5s and Michigan 5s. Only difference is the um, Oregons and Michigans have this Jumpman logo right here, whereas uh, these 4s have the 23. But other than that, you know, the text is the same. It says quality products inspired by the greatest basketball player ever. A lot of people, I've seen people cut this tag off. I don't really know how I feel about it. Like, honestly, I, I at first I wasn't feeling it, but I think it's kind of grown on me seeing it over, you know, time after time. And it's really not bad, but I'm still thinking about cutting it. But let me know in the comments. I think I should cut it or leave it how it is. Because part of me wants to keep it, you know, the way it is. But part of me is like, nah, I'll leave it that way. So let me know what y'all think. Here's the side. Now this entire midsole, these uh, wing things or whatever you want to call them, and the eyelets are actually the same as they are on the uh, white cement fours. I thought that was interesting. Here's the other side. Yeah, I cannot get over this suede. Look at that. Yeah, they, they, they really went in on the suede. I love it. Got more white cement vibes here on the back. From the midsole to the heel tab. For those of y'all that want to be technical, that's the 2012 white cement fours. Yeah, that's the back. The back side of the tongues are black with white text. And yes, they are thick, by the way. The inside of the shoe is blue, and the insoles are black with blue logos. Here are the soles. So as you can see, the box that I got came in a little damaged, but it is what it is. Uh, resembles your typical Jordan 4's box. Only difference is the top on these, I mean, other than the color, the top on this one is very uh, slick and shiny looking. Looks almost like laminated. I know normally the boxes that we come in have like a, you know, like a matte kind of feel to them. It's a lot more dull. But these, you know, this looks like this just got laminated, so... Thought that was cool, but uh, in the, on the bottom part, you got the uh, splattered cement pattern inside, it's mostly blue. And you got the paper that uh, looks a lot like the bottom part of the box, and they also have this extra 
you know, plain white layer. I don't know why they throw that in the box this time. And here's the box label. Retail for men's sizes is going to be 200 USD. Beautiful shoe. And trust me when I say this. If you get these, as soon as you get them in hand, you're going to want to put them on your feet right away. Trust me. With that being the case, if you plan on copping these, it's probably a good idea to get an outfit together ahead of time. That way, once you do get them in hand, you're ready to go. IntoTheAM.com has a lot of fire, very affordable drip on their website, and you can save 10% off your entire order if you use my discount code MCHECKS. So once you're done watching this video, make sure you check them out. Anyway, I think they did a really nice job on these. The quality on them is amazing. I barely saw any factory flaws on them. And I was actually pretty concerned about that with these. You know how certain releases you could tell they really took their time putting the shoe together. Everything's precise and all that. And then certain other releases it just seems like they rushed the entire production. You see a lot of pairs with glue stains and wrinkles on the leather and other little tiny imperfections. We saw a lot of that with the Fire Red 4s. We saw a lot of that with the University Blue 1s that just dropped last month. And this just seemed like a pair that could also have that problem. But actually, that seems to not be the case and I'm very happy about that. I've only seen like a handful of these in person. But so far, it seems like most pairs are going to come like this without a lot of factory defects which is great. But yeah, Fire Shoe, and I think they did a good job at making them significantly different from the player exclusive pair. Certain general releases like the UNC 3s, the Michigan 5s, the Oregon 5s, was way too close to the PE if you ask me. Because I know some people spend thousands of dollars to get these PEs, and then somewhere down the line, Jordan Brand drops a general release pair, which is basically the same shoe as the PE, just with like a different logo or some other small difference. But with these, even though they do resemble the PE, they're still significantly different, and I like that. The release for these is going to be a show, straight up. Like I've been saying, the hype on Jordan 4s in general is just getting crazier and crazier and crazier. But then this colorway, being North Carolina inspired, just makes the hype even worse. To still be selling at like six, 700 when we're like three weeks away from the release is wild. Obviously, the market value will be lower by release day, but they're still going to be going for a lot. Once they release, I'm expecting them to sell pretty similar to the way the University Blue Ones did. Around that like four, 450 range for men's sizes and maybe like a 350 or 375 to 400 for GS sizes. But good luck to everybody on the 28th. That is a Wednesday and I'm really not sure why they would do a release like this on a weekday. So I really wouldn't be surprised if they did change the release date again, but I don't know. We'll see. If this video was helpful or informal at all, please do me a favor and tap that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more early reviews and other sneaker related content. Don't forget to check out IntoTheAM.com. Use my discount code and get yourself some drip for your newest or upcoming cops. Thank you all for watching. Everybody, please stay safe and healthy out there, and I'll see you next time.